it's your girl. On this channel, we have visited a lot of bars. Some more traditional, some not. But wouldn't you know it, we've barely only scratched the surface of Japanese bar culture. And today, I'm going to be taking you to a place where not many foreigners have gone before, and that is the elusive and mysterious snack bars. Snack bars are cozy and very intimate bars that are run by usually one person where you can talk with them and they serve you snacks and you just kind of get drunk and have conversation. And they are usually very interesting people. The reason why foreigners don't often go to them is because it's very hidden and it's very intimate. And most of the time, they probably don't speak English. And that's part of the fun. So I decided to be in the center of snack bars today, Shimbashi. And I'm going to be showing all the nicest, most best snack bars, well, some of them, by my guide, Mayuko! Yay! Mayuko is the guy that's going to take me to some of the best snack bars that Shimbashi has to offer. A good example of a snack bar that you may know are some of the bars in the Yakuza series. Like the one where we hear the infamous song, Dame Dame. But before we continue, I would like to give thanks to today's sponsor, Zen Market. Zen Market is an online website that allows you to get access to almost anything you can think of in Japan. If there's an item you see on Mercari, Amazon JP, or Rakuten, then they got you covered. Because those are just some of the shops that Zen Market has available on their website. They even have Yahoo Auctions JP. So if there's an item that you'd like to bid on, then you can do it through Zen Market. And it'll be shipped right to you no matter where you are in the world. Right now there's a Rakuten campaign, where currently you don't have to pay a 300 yen service fee. It is available from May 11th, 4 p.m. JST to May 19th, 4 p.m. JST. There is also a Mercari campaign where you get 10% cash back on the first item you order off Mercari. It is available from May 16th to May 30th, 4 p.m. JST. Every time you sign up with a new account on Zen Market, you get an additional 300 yen gift, which means that your first item or first service fee is free. Zen Market also offers free parcel consolidation. So if you order from multiple stores and want it all shipped in one package, then Zen Market will do that for you. So check it out, because Zen Market definitely has a little something for everybody and you won't be disappointed with whatever you find. Thank you again to Zen Market, and now back to the video. We will first be beginning our exploration into snack bars at the first bar, Kuriyako, which means chestnut woman, run by a woman donning a kimono in a traditionally decorated snack bar. Kuri Mama keeps a list of every customer and the songs they sing during karaoke to better remember their preferences. One of the appeals of snack bars can be the owners, or mamas, will remember you and what your likes are. I'm curious, I'm like, where Kuriyako, the name, came from. あ、ゲーシャさんの名前とか、ヤコって sort of things do you talk about with your customers when they come here? Especially in like such a cozy setting, I can imagine the cus like the conversations get intimate. あの、その日のこととかお話しするんですけど、あとは何人かでね、いらっしゃる場合には、ご自分たちでね、あの、お話しなさるので、だいたい聞いてる、聞いてるか、作ってるかですね。So uh -huh. part of the reason of course that it's called a snack bar is after talking with the mama, she will usually serve you a variety of snacks. At this one, Kurisan gives us a little bit of everything. You don't have to worry about finding anything you might not feel you like. A lot of snack bars usually have a sort of home-like feel. That's probably the biggest thing I've noticed from here and what feels different from an izakaya is this feels very obviously more intimate. We talk more with the owner and she get to have yeah. some of our home cooking so I feel like I'm in a little guest. Uh, itadakimasu! I decided to ask Mama about how she came to start such a unique bar. The women who run snack bars are usually very open about their lives and how they got to where they are. Showing their heart on their sleeves and being open about who they really are is part of their charm. Mama, you ran a club before, right? I'm guessing it was probably quite different from running this, wasn't it? Probably a different atmosphere and everything. <laughs> so since we're reaching the end of our drinks and we want to go to check out the other bars, we're reaching the end of seeing this mama. To give it a goodbye kiss, she has given us apples. Mama. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing us and treating me to so many wonderful dishes, mama. Totemo oishikata desu. Hanoshikata desu. 
I'll be back, Mama. Is there anything you want to say before we go? どうぞあの通訳の方とご一緒にいらしていただきたい。どうしてもどうどうしてもお一人で見えると難しいので、通訳の方とご一緒に見えていただきたい。Now on to the second bar prepared for me by Mayuko, and it's said to be another unique one and is a hit with single people. This bar is owned by Mama Urara, a very energetic and fun mama, eager to make sure you find your eternal love. So this is Anna. She's a member of Geeks Plus. Initially. I was going to look at things, but I'm like, as a married woman, especially as a recently married woman, not the best. That's not very kosher of me. So I'm gonna make Anna do it because she's single. So I'm basically here so Garen doesn't get mad. Yes. <laughs> so this place is known for pairing and doing matchmaking as well as doing fortunes. Where did the concept of this even come from? もともとえっと別の居酒屋やってたんですけど、そこでやっぱこう居合わせた人たちが結構飲んだり食べたりすると、そこで自然に仲良くなって、そこでマッチングするみたいなのが結構多。なったんで、まあ、だったらなんかそういう専門のお店作ったらいいかなと思って、うん、こういうお店を作りました。I have to ask for if you want to do a matchmaking service, how do you do it? まず会員登録してもらうんですよ。えっとああいうねちょっとファイルがあるんですけど、そのプロフィールを作ります。自己 PR とかね書いてもらって、それを元にこういうね。テーブルにカードがあるんですけど、これにえっとお申し込みをしたり受けたりしてもらって、それをお店で取り付けします。All right, Anna, time to look at your pictures. <笑><笑>でも誕生日 nineteen seventy four。Like thirty years older than you。九十三年生まれだといくつかな。トイク九百二十五点。すごくな。英語ペラペラで多分そういう関係のお仕事されてる感じ。あほらアメリカ留学してたって。お、アメリカに、うん。ちょっと待って。うん。It's turned into like the Netflix like、mm. Find My Love. こんな感じの方で。なるほど。So not just Anna, the only foreigner who also speaks Japanese, can come here, but foreigners can also get their own membership as well as look inside the book and see what makes their heart doki doki. I mean, Mama is saying she might introduce him to me privately. Oh, <laughs> I guess we'll wait till then. I decided it probably wasn't entirely fair to have Anna be the only one who potentially had her future determined, so I decided to ask her for a tarot card reading. When she asked what I'd like to know about, I thought the future of my marriage. こんなカードが出た。<笑>えー、なんで？えっとただこれね、あの傷つくってカードなんだけど、これがこうなるよっていうことじゃなくてアドバイスカードなのね。だからこれはなんだろう傷と向き合うとか傷つくことを恐れない、恐れてはいけないよっていう意味なのね。だから例えばまあ今新婚でまあラブラブかもしれないんですけど、もしかしたら旦那さんに気を使ってこういうこと言ったら嫌われるかなとか、もしかしたらきらあのなんか相手を傷つけてしまうかもしれないとかってもしかしてなんか。あの我慢してることとかなんかあったりするかなってちょっと思ったんですけど。I'm scared to say one thing to Garn. I don't think Era Manga Sensei is that good. I just feel like our marriage would fall apart if I told him that, and that's why I totally make sense. I can see it. She didn't quite understand what I meant, but told me not to be scared and tell him I will not be doing that. Oh, Nana, Mama, Arigato gozaimasu. Ah, yeah, こちらこそ I learned a lot about my marriage life and about society today. If you ever want to come here and see what's available, and if you're a lonely heart, I mean. If you want to meet a Japanese girlfriend, then I don't see why not coming here. Probably with a translator, or you know, they might speak English if you look at the TOEIC signs on the women's side. But either way, why not check out? Maybe get yourself a go on a date. I don't know, whatever you want. Is there anything Urara Mama you'd like to say as we say adieu? 婚活してる人はえっともちろんなんですけど、そうじゃない人もあの気軽に飲みに来れるお店です。で、居合わせ居合わせた人と仲良くおしゃべりしたりとかもできるし、カラオケ歌ったりとかもできるので、よかったら気軽に遊びに来てください。And now on to the last bar. We are at a theme bar for golf. Supposedly, the woman who runs this place literally is so in love with golf that she had to get a divorce. I feel like I went through a lifetime through these snack bars so far. I feel like I went from home to love to golf. I feel like there was like literally from like baby. Adult, old man. Let's go finish our life cycle together. When I 
after the bar, I noticed it was packed with customers, which is unusual since when customers know a recording will be happening, they are wary of sticking around and being caught on camera. The men were very excited to see me and eager to talk, and since a chance rarely comes by, I wanted to ask them some questions. So is the reason why a lot of you come here is because you're really big fans of golf then? So what makes this bar special then, would you say, to other bars then? Honestly, they were very cute and kind. Every fucking video. So supposedly you could also do mini golf here. This room is quite small, so I don't really know how, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy some of Mama's delectable cooking and drinking some wine. So how often does everybody come here then? Every Friday. Every Friday. Oh, oh hey, go do it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you liked golf then? Three years ago. So it's like, why did you decide to open a golf-themed snack bar then? I didn't think about it. I didn't want to live as long as possible. I wanted to do something I wanted to do something I wanted to do. I know it was mentioned in the advertising of the restaurant that you love golf so much. Maybe it can be argued, Mama, a little too much. Is that true? Golf went too far. Is that a family problem? And Mama's story definitely did not disappoint. Overall, this bar was incredibly fun and talkative. Everyone was talking with one another and it felt incredibly welcoming. Golf fan or not. You can buy a bottle here and essentially when you come here you can drink from it, but there'll be a picture to indicate that it's yours when you pose with it. So that's pretty, that's pretty cute. That's pretty familial. How many like different snack bars are there? Like what are the themes usually for them? Well, you heard it here, folks, and if there's anything you want to specialize in having a talk about and you want to practice your Japanese, then why not check out the local snack bars in Japan? So with that being said, we've shown you three different snack bars, three different vibes, and honestly, it's a vibe. It's very homely, and I love it. And I can't help but notice it without Mayuko-san. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All of the snack bars will be linked in the description. And if you're thinking about supporting this channel, then please check out this link here or type out the link in my description. Either way, thank you, Mama Hazukisa! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! And Mina! Arigato gozaimasu, Mina! And to end it all off, I'd like to give a very heartfelt thank you to the people over at Online Snack Yokocho. They're the ones who took me to the bars and organized and gave explanations. So if you too would like to experience a snack bar experience just like I did, maybe probably with maybe more bars or a different area, then please check out the links in my description. And this video was not sponsored by them. That was just out of the kindness of their hearts that they did this. But that being said, bye!